Citizenry reports, drivers say they can't wait to get behind the wheel on the new highway. I think it's really exciting and uh, it's just a really nice, smooth, easy way to get uh, from here to Lafayette and then on further north. I think we are so fortunate to be able to just leave Delphi, get up there on the Hoosier Heartland and go to Lafayette. Nearly 30 years in the making and about $330 million later, the drive between Lafayette and Delphi just got a whole lot easier. We've been looking for that road to come that way for a long, 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 long time. It's going to be very good for business. Wednesday morning, Governor Mitch Daniels, other federal, state, and local officials, and members of the Hoosier Heartland Corridor held a ribbon-cutting ceremony on the 12-mile stretch of the new State Road 25 between Interstate 65 and Lafayette and U.S. 421 in Delphi. This was always one of the uh, major moves, as we said, in my mind, right there at the very top. What it can mean, first, in terms of safety, but secondly, in terms of more economic opportunity and jobs in the future. Especially here in Delphi, it gives us an opportunity to uh, open our gates uh, to Interstate 65, economic development, safer travel for our citizens that are going to Lafayette and back and forth. And residents say by steering clear of the old State Road 25, besides speeding up their drive between Lafayette and Delphi, safety is the key with the new Hoosier Heartland Highway. I never drive 25 because there's been so many accidents. I've, I've seen too many accidents. So it, it's nice to have a road that, that's going to take the danger out of it. An acquaintance of mine lost a child, his only child out there several years ago. And, um, and this one clearly will be more safe, and um, I just, I'm just so blessed to see it finally come to pass. The last three portions spanning from Delphi to Logan Sport should be complete by the end of 2013. Reporting in Carroll County, Krista Henry, News 18. Drivers will be able to use the new portion in Delphi later this evening. When it's completed, Central Indiana will have direct access to deep water shipping ports in